Why the stage? Because Shelley, the second wife, she was a poet, a playwright, and a poem writer. So when the plays have been written, it's been acted on the stage. We've divided this room into two parts. We have this walls for civil rights and pan-African leaders, whilst this walls has been dedicated to presidents and prime ministers who helped to fight for our rights and our freedom. Most of the leaders you see on the walls gained their countries their independence. But please, we are coming to have a little discussion right here in this room. I need your contribution as well. So please, so please help me with that. Ago. Ago. Okay. So we have this Pan-African leaders. And the main motive of Pan-Africanism was that all descendants of Africa we should come as one, unite, fight for our rights and our freedom. Till date, till date, are we united? Is African united? It's a question, please. No. 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 So, any reasons? We allow money to divide us. Okay. Money? Power. Power. Misconceptions okay. of each other. To divide us. Okay. Okay. Also, the remnants of trauma. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Selfish. Selfish. Anyone else? Okay. I'm asking if Africa, Africa, the whole of Africa, if they are united or not, because they are most supposed to be united. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have maybe any ideas why we are not? Oh, well, there's a lot of reasons. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it, it's people's misconception of who we are on the different parts of the planet. And um, the history hasn't been told correctly in schools, in universities, you know. So, and then even our families, I know I miss telling my stories to my children. But I, I'm, I'm beginning to think that I need to, but I also miss hearing the stories from my grandmother and great-grandmother. So the sharing of family traditions and some of our history is missing as well. Anyone else? We can stay here all go. So this is my colleague I have right here. He has an idea he wants to share with all of us. Okay, uh, I'm quiet. All right, so, let <laughs> So the question I always ask people that, why do you think the black history is taken out of the syllabus the way back in the States? Why is, why is the black history taken out of the syllabus? Why is black history being prevented from teaching the kids? Currently in schools, in the U.S. specifically. I think, uh, they don't I, want I think it's a good thing for the U.S. in the sense that we need to have our own schools. It's impossible for the people who enslave you, teach you to free yourself. It's, it's somebody is writing your story. You can't have white people, a cow cannot write a lion's story. It's impossible. Can you gonna see the lion as the enemy? The lion gonna see him as something on the menu. So so that that's part of the that the thing too. We need to write our own story, man. Yeah, yeah, we right. can't depend on those kind of people to write our story. Yeah. I think it's the biggest danger is to for one not to know themselves and who they are and where they come from. And when you take that piece of their history and who they are, then they are no longer a threat to you. So that is why it is the way the black history works. 
Yes. Powerful, powerful. I think they did because there's the times of changing and they realize our power and they realize exactly. that our knowledge is our power. Exactly. And so they're scrambling desperately to keep us under their power, but it will not work. Exactly. There you go, Gigi, you're next. <laughs> All right. That's 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 some that's some good comment. Do you want to say something to me? No, I, I I was just um, thinking it's all of the above, plus it's it's the skewing of history on a larger scale, so that even white kids don't know real history. Those in power need to control across the continuum. They they need to skew things with anybody in their group who might be. Is it possible now? <laughs> it, 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 it's it, it is, but, but back to your point, I agree we should write our own history, but it's, it's almost like we have to do things on parallel tracks. We can't do either this or that. The solutions are so multifaceted. We've just got to be, as the people say, I hate in the, in the U.S. they're saying woke. we got to be wide awake. <laughs> wide awake and make everybody around us wide awake because we've slept too long and because we've slept the little progress we've made we've lost we've slipped back and we're fighting a fight that we fought years ago because we went to sleep so we There's a saying that goes that uh, there's strength in number, okay? And unity is strength. So they feel that if they become strong and united, they will work against them or they'll come against them. That is why we've taken that from teaching them. They understand our power, they understand our unity, mm -hmm. they understand our color. They understand that the United Africa is a strong Africa. The United Africa is an Africa which is very difficult to penetrate. Looking at all these leaders, because they were united, that is why they had to plan who on them, because they knew that, for example, with the Nkrumah, he was very difficult to penetrate. That is why they waited when he left out Ghana to China, to plan the coup against him, because that alone he was weak, but together with his people, he was very strong. We shouldn't give up if history is being taken out of the syllabus. We are the history. We can also make it up to our kids. We can also be teachers. That is why we find ourselves here, to learn, to see, to be able to impact our kids. It's fine if we take it out. But it's up to you to also make it up to the kids. Because you can also be the teacher, you can also be the master who was in school and impact the kids and also let them know who they are, where they come from, who they are, what they possess, and what they can also do to make Africa a better continent for all of us to have the peace and freedom we have been fighting for. Ago. Okay. So before the death of Dr. Du Bois, he left a last statement to the world. He said. Always I have been uplifted by the thought that what I have done well will live long and justify my life, that what I have done ill or never finished can now be handed on to others for endless days to be finished while I rest. One thing alone I charge you, live and believe in life. Always human beings will live and progress to greater, broader and fuller life. The only possible death is to lose belief in this truth simply because this greater end comes slowly just because time is slow. In his message, first and foremost, he acknowledged himself by saying he did well. But later came down, he said, I did, but never finished. It should be handed on to others. Who are those others? The next generations. We are the next generations. But have we taught? Have we started? Where is our ending point? It's just like a race, so the baton has been handed over to you. Are you going to sit and watch someone else take over victory, or you are going to fight for yourself? Some of them fought with their blood. What are we fighting with? He says, as you live, believe in life. If you are living and you don't believe in life, what's the essence of your living then? What's the purpose of your life? It's just like a walking dead. You have no existence to this world. He came down, he says, time is long. But do you believe time is long? He is saying time is long, not because he lived to the age of 95, no, but because he left a plan, he left a legacy. Even though he's no more, his legacies are still living among us. What he wasn't able to finish, someone is looking up to him to fulfill it. Even though he's long gone, someone is still living as Dr. Lewis. The question here is what plans, what legacies are we leaving for the younger generations? Are we going to leave what was left for us by our forefathers? Or we are trying to build something new, something better for them to have a brighter future. 
So you try to be a role model, someone would look up to for the better means of their lives. Any questions? Please head into the final resting place of Doctor. Okay, I don't like it.